Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of my podcast project called Sunny Side Up. Before I get into today's episode, which by the way is called Be Passionate and Insight into Success, I would like to introduce myself a bit and explain the motivation behind this podcast. I am the type of friend that loves to give speeches when asked for advice. And with speeches, I mean TED Talk speeches. Those. Yes, exactly. TED Talks. (laughs) I have thought a lot about how I could, you know, turn this into something that benefits a few more people. And so I really got into writing I've always loved writing. I've always written a lot as a child, as a teenager. I still am a teenager. I've always written a lot of stuff. Stories, poems, songs, you name it, I wrote it. And then I decided to also try and put this passion of um, giving advice and, I don't know, thinking about philosophical questions and themes and topics I tried to put that into my writing and it went really well, but especially if you are into writing as well or you're a writer, you know that there are days that you can write pages and pages and pages after each other and then there's days where you can hardly get a word down and it's super difficult to think clearly. And so I was like, as much as I adore writing, I need something that I can really be consistent with, that I can... 100% be consistent with, you know, and um, one thing that I can be consistent with is talking (laughs) because I love to talk. I mean, to be honest, I'm a very introverted person, but if you get to know me, I can talk like a waterfall. It came to me today. It hit me. It was like, you know, make a podcast. And I was like, wait, really? That's a good idea, to be honest. (laughs) So... I decided to, you know, get out my microphone and even though I'm a technological rookie, I managed this and, well, to be honest, my microphone is standing on a pile of books, but, you know, it's okay to start with what you have. It's absolutely okay. And I'm sorry if you can't understand me all too well. I'm going to get better at the technological thing, I promise you. (laughs) So let's get started with the first episode So as I've mentioned it already, this episode is called Be Passionate and Insight into Success. And I'm very much looking forward to the next few moments of explaining this because it is a topic that has, you know, accompanied me a lot in the past years. I have really, really thought about this so much and I have a a pretty solid view on it and this is my view my opinion my perspective it is 100% okay if you have a different perspective I'm just gonna kind of explain how and why I think about it the way that I do now I think that passionate people will always succeed at life but why do I think this when you think about success you think about okay you're a good person you're a successful person you you I don't know if you're a musician you think about you make music that everyone likes you're a successful musician if you're an actor you think about everyone likes your acting you're a really good successful actor but why do I think that passionate people will always succeed at life very often small artists not well-known, not well-recognized artists are super passionate. And oftentimes, well-known artists are as well. Now, it's quite a roller coaster. I've thought about a way of putting this into like a few sentences, but really, it's difficult. You could be a small artist, you could be a passionate small artist, and as you grow and as you get more well-known You're just as passionate about your music and you love it. You love doing this job. But maybe you start off passionate, you get famous, and then suddenly it's all about people pleasing. 
you don't do it because you enjoy making your music and you don't do it anymore because you enjoy, you know, conveying a message from your heart to others. You do it because you just want to please people's tastes of music. You, you want to, you know, fill a gap in their hearts, if that makes sense. You're doing it for others. Maybe you're doing it to get the money of it. And maybe that's your motivation. Perhaps you're starting off as a, as a small, not well-known artist because from beginning on, you've wanted to please someone else. Maybe you're doing this for your parents. Maybe your parents want you to be successful and you, what do you do? You try to please them. So you become this well-known artist or you don't. And either way, are you happy? Yes? No? What do you say? Would you be a happy person after years and years of pleasing your parents? Now I think if at the end of life you're happy, that's a good deal of happiness and success. Oftentimes, success these days gets viewed as this big, you gotta be better, you gotta be prettier, you gotta be smarter thing. It's very materialistic. It's like success is money, or success is fame, or success is beauty, or success is smartness, or success is a specific degree, or an income. But the happiness, all these feelings and emotions that come in life, they, they get pushed to the side. You don't really think about them anymore. It's, it's about the materialistic things here, right? It's not, not about the emotions. No, no, no. It's like the, the side dish. Nobody really cares about that, <laughs> especially with salad. No, don't want that. So that gets really put aside. I want you to ask yourself right now and in the next coming days, if you ever think about it, what do you base your success on? There is not a right or a wrong answer to this. Your success can be based on fame or on money. Maybe your success is based on health. Is it based on pleasing your parents? Hmm. I want to go back to the pleasing other people because I think that this is a super duper important thing to talk about. You can, obviously, base your success on helping others and being there for others. If you say, okay, I'm successful if I help others because that's where I gain my happiness from, from being there for others, then that is beautiful and that's heartwarming and that is good willing. But when you have such a desire and when you base your success or your happiness on others as well, you have to make sure that while you're, other, while you're helping others, excuse me, your happiness has to be fulfilled as well. You know, it can go up and down, of course, but your happiness is the one that matters right now when we're talking about your happiness and your life. You know, you have to be happy, especially if you're focusing on helping and pleasing others. You know, pleasing others doesn't always have to be bad. I mean, you could be, you could be a doctor, but at the same time, whilst being there for others, you have to also be there for yourself. That is important. That is the base of everything. That is like the golden rule, okay? <laughs> now, as you've realized, I'm talking a lot about personal happiness about dreams and goals as well. And it is this really big net of things, right? Being passionate, being successful, being happy. It is all this big net of things. And I'm not quite sure how to name it. Maybe it's the net of your own happiness. Maybe it's the net of your life, but it's all connected. And especially if you're in a good place right now, this net of things, all these things in it will be pretty balanced out. One thing doesn't work, and the other things will kind of lack as well. So, I've just mentioned the word dream and goals, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit as well. Now, going after your dream. 
let's be honest, it can be a little bit of a tug of war. It can be really difficult. It can be hard to explain to others and make other people see why this means so much to you. Maybe other people don't like it. Or maybe your dream is financially difficult to reach. But here's one thing that I want you to know. And it is, if you have the power to dream about it, you have the power to make it happen. Because dreaming about something so wonderful, so big or small, but so great in your mind, in your heart, then you also have the power to do it. You also have the courage and the strength and the power and the willpower. You know, it may be hidden, hidden under layers in yourself, but it is there and you have the power to make it happen. Now, when going after your dream, you will have to conquer a phase of doubt. And this can be a scary place. Sometimes you don't want to start a thing because you know there will be a phase of doubt and you know you will give up. That's actually like that with a lot of things. Some people don't even want to start to go on to a diet because they know oh, there'll be this phase of doubt. Can I eat this? Can I not eat this? Oh, and then they give up. Instead of maybe finding a balance in this situation, you know, it is um, very, very complex. And I'm not going to really get started on that because I know I'll talk for a whole long while. Um, but you are going to conquer a phase where it's going to get tricky. And then that is the time where you have to stop. Stop right there. I have some solutions for you, okay? So the first solution is ask yourself why this is happening. Don't complain. Don't say... I'm so stupid. I'm too dumb for this. I mean, I can't solve this easy math problem. I will never become an airplane pilot. Or how will I ever become a doctor if I can't even understand what a cell is or something, you know? <laughs> Do not complain or make excuses. Try to be real. Try to be real about what is happening. Is it because, hmm, Am I just not putting in the effort? Or am I making unrealistic goals? And the way you can find out what is causing your problem is super easy. And I'm going to um, talk you through it a little bit. So you have a problem in your life right now. Let's say that you have the dream of this is my personal dream. That's why I'm mentioning it twice already. You have the dream of becoming an airline pilot. And the problem is, is that you are not good at maths. This is personal. <laughs> and now you are going to ask yourself three times why. So for me, this would look like I'm not good at maths. Why? Because I don't practice. Why? Because I can't do it. Why? Because I don't believe that I can do it. Now I'm going to explain this with another example so you can follow along a bit and kind of make sense of it in your head. So let's do another example. Um, what could be a problem? Maybe I am not losing weight. Let's say you want to lose weight because this is a very common issue. Now why am I not losing weight, for example? Why? Because I'm not exercising. Why? Because I don't have the motivation. Why? Maybe you're setting yourself unrealistic goals. Maybe you've been setting yourself the goal to, you know, do cardio workouts an hour a day. And that, for example, if that comes with your last why, you know, you've been setting yourself unrealistic goals. And that is already like where you have to go back to the beginning and rethink, okay, how could I make this work in a, you know, friendlier idea to myself? This is a really difficult topic to find a way that works for you. And I mean, 
you have to try, 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 try and try more often and try and you're going to fail and fail and fail and fail until you finally find this way that works for you. But obviously, you're going to have to fail. Now, another way of, I'm going to say, solving this problem when a phase of doubt comes in is remembering why you started. And I know this is like a cliche advice kind of thing, but let me explain this. At the very beginning of your journey, there was something that triggered your mind and your heart to creating this dream of yours. It could have been a place. It could have been a person or a conversation. Maybe it was a book or a movie, but something triggered your mind to want this. What was that? What was the spark of this dream? You have to re-spark that. You have to go back. Maybe you can go back to that place. Maybe you can call the person you had the conversation with, or maybe you can read the book again, or maybe you can re-watch the movie. But try and re-spark that spark. Trust me, this is powerful. This is really, really powerful. And this is what I did because, as by now you know, I really want to be an airline pilot. I actually have this little notebook that I carry around with me everywhere. It's a little... Okay, this is a little bit embarrassing. But to be honest, this is a good, you know, mechanism to cope with this to cope with doubtful phases. So I have this notebook, right? And in it, I wrote dreamy kind of sentences about flying or about airplanes or motivation for when it gets hard. Like, you know, nobody's born being able to solve like some equations, you know? Obviously, it's going to be difficult, but, you know, you can learn. And as I said, you're not born with a talent. Well, sometimes you are, but, you know, how often does that happen? You're not born with a talent. You're born with like a mindset of learning, hopefully. Hopefully you've kept that mindset of wanting to learn. Especially if there's a dream, you're going to want to learn it. You're going to want to, you know, make it happen. And then learning maths or physics, it's going to be not that bad because you, you want this. You're doing this for your dream. For example, because this is my personal example, maybe to um, show that a little bit better. But what I'm saying is re-spark that spark, reassure yourself. Maybe when you're in a good mindset, you can write yourself a little note of all the cool ideas that you can do when you've achieved this dream or along the journey of it even. That would be great. And maybe when you're in not such a good mindset, then you you can read that note and Perhaps it'll help you. So these were my little solutions. Ask yourself why, be honest. Do the three whys problem-solving strategy and re-spark that spark. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. You choose what you base your success on. But it's always a good idea to base it on something that truly will bring you happiness. That's not about pleasing people in the wrong way or about making money, but something that will, for the rest of your life, continuously bring you happiness and fulfillment. Because even if you're famous, if you're not fulfilled with happiness, did you really succeed in life? Thank you so, so much for listening to the first episode of my podcast. I am beyond grateful that you took your time. And I really hope that you gained some knowledge from this, that perhaps you had a moment where you were like, wow, that's true. Or maybe you're going to think about this for the next few moments. Feel very free to leave me some feedback in the comments or some advice of what I could do better. And also maybe share your own insights or your thoughts regarding this topic. I would be super happy to read about them. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and take care and stay safe in this whole pandemic situation. And maybe I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.